Welcome to the Banker Lamp. Please enjoy the video. In this video, I will explain how to remove School Administrator on a Chromebook. It's important to understand that school managed devices have specific restrictions in place. We'll cover the steps involved in attempting a factory reset, which is often the primary method for removing administrative control. However, be aware that some devices are permanently enrolled and may revert to their managed state. This process typically takes about 10 to 15 minutes to complete, depending on your device model and internet speed. Before attempting any changes, it's crucial to understand how device management works. When a Chromebook is managed by a school or organization, it's enrolled in their system. This enrollment allows the administrator to enforce policies, install applications, and restrict certain features. Even after a factory reset, some devices are designed to re-enroll automatically upon connecting to the internet. This is a security measure to protect the organization's assets and data, ensuring consistent device configuration across many units. To initiate a factory reset, also known as a power wash, first ensure all your important local data is backed up. This process will erase everything on the device, returning it to its original state. You can typically find the power wash option within the Chromebook settings under the About Chrome OS section, or by using a specific key combination during startup to enter recovery mode. Follow the on-screen prompts carefully to complete the reset, which usually takes several minutes. After the factory reset, set up your Chromebook as if it were new. Pay close attention during the initial setup process, especially when connecting to Wi-Fi. If the device automatically re-enrolls into the school's management system, it indicates permanent enrollment. In such cases, the administrator control cannot be removed by a simple reset. Your best course of action is to contact the school's IT department directly to inquire about official unenrollment procedures, which may involve specific conditions or forms. Thanks for watching. If this was helpful, leave a like and consider subscribing. See you next time.